we're going to show how uh, we can graph uh, linear inequalities uh, using decimals. And we're going to start with the uh, equation on um, the problem on page 38, number 4 y greater than minus 4 thirds x plus 4. And what we're doing here is, let's take a look at the screen. First of all, we put the equation in. And you can see the uh, dotted line, which means that the line itself is not included in the, uh, in the answer. So it's shaded on this side here. This blue side is the shaded side. That's where the inequality holds true. And the line itself, because it's dotted, is not included in that. So what is uh, in box two, three, and four is just simply we set up a test point, six comma zero, and we put that right in here. We can use the slider to change the values of the test point. So here you see the point here, it's shown here, whereas this is a line down here. So here's the test point right here, 6 comma 0, and you can see that it lies in the, within the shaded region. If we put it into the equation, we ask ourselves, is 0, because along this line y is 0, greater than or equal to minus 4 thirds times x, which is 6. So 4 times 6 is 24 divided by 3 is minus 8 plus, we've got this plus 4 here. Uh, minus 8 plus 4 gives us minus 4. So 0 is greater than minus 4. That's true. So having this point in the shaded region, we've shown that it's valid. You don't have to do this. It's just an interesting thing uh, to see how it works. Now let's say we move that slider here so that the x is 0. We move it over here. We put the test point in the region where the inequality is not valid. It's not valid in this white portion, so the graph. So if we check it out and put it into the equation, put a 0 into the y value and 0 into the x value in the equation, we ask ourselves 0 greater than 0 plus 4. 0 is uh, not greater than 4, so that's false. And so we've shown that the, the test point does not work for the uh, white region. Now, page 38, number 13, we have this equation minus 3x plus 8y plus 12 is greater than 0. We put it in right here into box 1. What we did with box 2 was simplify this equation so that y was on the left side and uh, the x term is on the right and the constant term or the number term is on the right. Just this equation and this equation are totally equivalent. And you can actually turn off, what you can do is you can start by clicking this off and that off which means that the lines disappear. And then click this one on, see where the intercepts are and by the way these are the intercepts. So we can just click on those and, and see where they are, that's an additional feature. Um, and mention that up here, same kind of thing, we've got the intercept. We can just click on these points. Use projection mode and click on the points and the intercepts, um, the x and y intercept. This is obviously the y intercept and this is the x intercept. Same thing down here. And so whether you t type this in or you type that in, you should get the same equation. And one is a simplification of the other. And that's all, um, uh, just to show that. But the beauty of decimals is that you don't have to do that. You can just put this one right in here and you'll get this over here. And again, this is a dotted line. So any point on a dotted line is not valid. Um, there's no equal sum right here. Again, I 
used a test point six comma zero, which is this point right over here. And you can uh, just put this in here. You can put x equal to six here. What do we get? Minus 18 plus eight times a zero. Okay, so we've got minus 18 plus 8 times because y is 0 here plus 12. So minus 18 plus 12 is minus 6. Minus 6 greater than, greater than 0? No. So that's what you would expect because this falls with outside the region. Now you can, you can uh, vary the 6. You can move the 6 along so it moves within the test region and just mentally see that it works. It's a, just a nice little uh, feature. So the last problem that we're going to do is number 20 on page 38. Put this identically into what's in over here. Here we have number 20, put it in here. Here's the simplified version, in other words, collecting the y and the x terms and writing it in the form y equals mx plus b. And these two equations should give you and do give you the same straight line. And you'll see that because of the equal sign, there's no dotted part along the line here. No dotted part. And um, we have put in the test point minus 4 comma 0. This is just an insertion point. Don't worry about this. It doesn't mean anything. Just that I left um, the mouse pointer in here. so. You know, you can click over in this part of the graph and you'll get rid of it. So that doesn't mean anything. Here's the test point. And um, if you put that into uh, the equation, it should uh, work. So, okay, what we do is put in the equation. You don't have to put in the test point, but it's a nice way of looking at it. By the way, you can also vary y, so you can move y up and down by doing that. You don't have to just run it along the x-axis. So that's another possibility. So this completes our uh, discussion on uh, topic 8, page uh, 38.